Hello and welcome. I'm Jenny Hall. Thanks for joining me for another card making tutorial. Today I am sharing a card and an accompanying 3D project. To start off my card, I'm going into my little scrap bin because often I add a lot of, I guess we want to call them failed card attempts, or maybe I stamp something and it doesn't work out. So I'm trying to salvage some of those things for a project. I have a partially completed card that I made with the Petal Passion Designer Series paper and colored it with my Stampin' Blends markers. For some reason, I could not get that project to work out on a different day, so I'm giving it another shot today. My stamps are from the January 2018 Paper Pumpkin Kit. If you're a subscriber, then you know exactly how wonderful this little stamp set is. I'm in love with all the little images. If you haven't yet, wonderful time to subscribe to Paper Pumpkin is now. All of the links for subscribing to Paper Pumpkin can be found on my blog at JennyStampsUp.com. I've die cut a little heart that goes with one of the hearts that was in my scrap bin and this little stamp works perfectly to not overtake the entire theme and colors of the project. Celebration is a wonderful time to get my hands on some extra goodies at no additional cost. So with my qualifying purchase I got this package of ribbon and it's really shiny shimmery ribbon I thought would echo the colors that I chose in the background for the little piece of Petal Passion paper. So for my 3D project, which I don't often show on my video channel, I'm completely showing that today and if you haven't noticed a theme this week is all of the projects that I'm creating are by viewer requests. So if you have anything that you have wanted to see on my channel, please let me know as I do incorporate these into my projects. So I am putting the entire 3D project, which is the focus, focus of this tutorial. Clear tiny treat boxes are so easy to create with. That's why I use them so frequently whenever I create gifts for teachers or bus drivers or therapists or anybody. My, my husband, uh, my husband is a pastor, so sometimes he has to give a gift to somebody that goes together in a flash. I don't often get a lot of notification when I need something, so those little tiny treat boxes are a go-to. So is the paper pumpkin kit. Sometimes I'll use things that are in the paper pumpkin kit. For this particular project, I only used the stamp set from Paper Pumpkin. I've got a couple of die cut hearts and I added a few more to it and used a handheld hole punch so that I can string them through the ribbon. So I have again raided the boys Skittle stash and they have noticed <laughs> when I finished this project Nathaniel, he's our youngest and he's four years old, he kept pointing and telling me candy, candy, candy and giving me the the sign language sign for candy and he knew that I had gotten a hold of his Skittles. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> so I'm stringing some of these hearts through the ribbon and the ribbon is going to be tied around the box. It's merely a decoration. The ribbon doesn't serve much of a purpose to hold things together. I made sure that the belly band can be taken off by sliding it off of the cube and the cube will stay intact. That's the wonderful part of Stampin' Up's product. Their products are wonderful and these treat boxes are a great example of how well they're made. So I'm just going to add the, the tag that I created sliding it through the ribbon as I did the little hearts and everything is tied together. The theme of the 
of the gifts are Valentine's Day and I was able to use the designer series paper to get that black striped theme and those little tiny hearts they also tied it together with the card and the project. I hope you enjoyed seeing this and by viewer request I made this come true. Thank you so much for joining me for this tutorial. I invite you to go to JennyStampsUp.com for more card making inspiration. You can see more details about this project on my blog. Thanks so much for joining me today. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching the video. See you next time.